Bodhi keeps on returning to us to suffer defeat after defeat. Well, it's nice to keep sending her scurrying away, but I'm afraid that if she catches us at a bad time, then she might defeat us, and perhaps that's what she's counting on. She doesn't revert to mist like the other vampires, she just turns into a bat and flies away when she's really injured. She's a coward. I'd rather she bring all her minions and just face us in one final battle. But again, she has that coffin that she retreats to. Without that, she would die a final death like we would. Maybe we should pay another visit to her lair under the graveyard when we get home. But if she's out here, she must have a coffin with her. There's no way for her to fly all the way back home and back in time. So her coffin has to be close. On a ship nearby. It could be anywhere. Down here in the depths of the Asylum Maze, we have faced a lich, a tough vampire, and a lot of very powerful undead. We are getting through this place, despite the difficulty. I doubt anyone before has gotten this far. I don't know how one actually gets out of here. I suppose we just keep on going until we cannot. What else is there for us to do? I really hope that it's not just some unending maze created to keep us in here indefinitely. Now that would be a living nightmare. I've noticed that my ability for empathy and love have been diminished. Almost like I'm just feeling a mere shadow of what it used to be like. In that area, I feel the most harm due to my soul being taken. I can still laugh, and I'm content to have everyone back with us, but with Ajantis, I feel that I'm losing my ability to be the kind, compassionate, loving partner that I used to be. He is very courteous with me, as is his way with all things. He is more observant and concerned than just giving me space. I think. My ability to be intuitive, especially in matters of the heart, have diminished, so I can't really tell. Anyway, he slept on his sleeping bag nearby me last night, watchful as he always is. I hope he slept. I pray to Lathander that we'll be out of this place soon and confront Arenicus to get my soul back, this time without the poison food. And it may hurt, even with the way I am now, but Yoshimo needs to be confronted as well. I just cannot let that kind of betrayal go. We are still under the Spellhold Asylum, trying to make our way out. And I don't know how many more pages of this there are, and I don't even know why we're doing this, but perhaps something will come that we'll need. We are looking for crystals to activate the door to get out of here. Apparently the kobolds have them, but this ancient old tome is summoning creatures. Oh, it's a beholder. Yeah, that's a big bloodthirsty mo thirsty monster. Immelin was drained, so she's lost a lot of her spells that she never used. Ah. That went down fast. Well, we've killed a few of these things. Is there any more pages? I don't even know what's going to come next. A demon? Devil? The chanting book creates several magical items for me. A ring. Edvin Tar's gift. Ring of free action. This ring was given to the reef scavenger and hunter known only as Edvin Tar by a group of aquatic elves, long his friends. His help in routing the pirate queen, Yandra of Dambat, Dambrath, was instrumental in their survival, though Yandra continues to be feared anywhere the water meets land. Interesting. So, you're immune to everything that affects mobility. Haste and slow. Well, his spells don't work. Hmm. I don't know who this could... Maybe we'll sell it. It's good if you're dealing with something that's... um. I don't know. Hold spells? Does it stop hold spells? I mean, I do use... Oh, I don't have any right now, but... I do use like speed potions. Okay, so let's go through these doors. You can oh, there's count a on me. secret door over here. Let me go through. Certainly. I am hidden. We may proceed. Yeah. 
I am hidden. We may proceed. I am very good at hiding shadows. Who? These be the kobolds that we're looking for? Oh, they're just kobolds. Yes, direct me as you will. Imowen, honestly, child, this is the second time I've caught you off guard. Do you think it wise to lose yourself so entirely in your thoughts when we may be attacked at any moment? I think we're past the time for lectures on how to survive, Jahira. This is not a lecture, child. I am concerned. What thoughts are these that draw you so deeply into their grasp that you are even more distracted than usual? Just thoughts. Bad ones. And no offense, Jahira. But haven't we passed the time for you to call us child? I don't feel young anymore. I'm not innocent enough to warrant that moniker either. And I would like you to think that you're belittling Orin and I. I can sympathize with dark thoughts, and I will attribute your forthrightness to their influence. If you prefer, I will no longer call you child. But rest assured, I am not belittling either you or Orin by using it, nor am I referencing to your innocence of loss or loss thereof. You must understand, Imwen, you and Orin will always be my wards. I think of it, perhaps, as a title to show my care. Surely you would not refuse that after all these years? Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jahira. You're right. I was in a bad mood. And it's okay. You can call us child, if that's the reason, to show you care. Care is nice after all of the awfulness. Oh, and it's always handy to have a reminder you're really, really old. <sighs> I'm glad to hear it, Imwen. It will be done. Okay, come on. Just kobolds. What is here. it? Speak. Gotcha good. <sighs> Next time. My weapon is of no use. Of course, they're targeting me. Certainly. They do have some magical arrows. Just Without a doubt. Not that many. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else ahead. I am hidden. We may proceed quickly and precisely. More kobolds. Lots of them. What is that? Is that the crystal he was talking about? Dace the vampire? Okay, more kobolds. You put Live by the sword! Live a good long time! The weapon is of no use. You will fall by my hand! Oh! Yes? What is this? Come to me, Kirtle Mac. Find focus in the crystal. Feast from here. Feast on your bones. Yep. We've been discovered. No time, no time. Avatar not focused. Crystal not ready. Avatar not formed. Kirtle Mac not ready. Focus, but not fully formed. Protect me. Protect, or we are shattered once again and again. Call forth the guardians. Oh. In their <laughs> Just a really, really ugly kobold. Ow! Stupid thing. This dungeon has a oh, sense my. of evil. <laughs> Now what? With the kobold avatar slain, I am easily able to take a piece of the crystal. All is silent except for a faint, mournful wail, barely discernible. Without hesitation. Oh, there's a short sword. Vampire stake. I can hold no more. That item has been dropped. Oops, it wasn't identified. Pretty sure it is a flame arrow. Arrow of fire. And this is a short sword. Kirtlemax Crystal Shard. This is the Crystal Shard obtained from the avatar of Kirtlemax, who
whose essence was trapped within a large crystal. The kobolds seemed to worship it. This crystal appears to be the focus of the kobolds' worship. It pulses with a strange light. Perhaps it feeds off of the kobolds. Odd. Another short sword we can sell. What is it? This will not take long. Okay, so that's the hand and the crystal. What else is there? I'll try sneaking into the next room. I am hidden. If it must be done. Oh, uh, I think maybe that was it for this whole area, actually. Yeah. Well, let's go through. Let's not must wait around for Bodhi to return. Venturing forth. I didn't think she'd keep coming that? back. I thought when she came to fight, it was a fight to the. Well. I'm so like I said, we can't kill them. With you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Because we don't know where their coffins are, and they're not. Even if we did, if it's not down here, it's beyond our reach. Okay. Speak, certainly. Statue. Let us through. Hmm. Oh, that's my gem bag. Gotta open this up. The Hand of Dace and Kirtlemax Crystal Shard. This is the hand that I've obtained from the dead vampire Dace. Where do we give to the statue? Do we give it here? Is this like an offering table? Kind of looks like it. Hello? Only Builder may pass. His hand alone shall open the way once focus of power is restored. Okay, so let's get those items then. Should think that we are the Builder now. Focus of power may be restored, and the hand of the Builder opens the passage. The way is open. Where, how do we go through? Oh. Okay. Seems that Ajantus has gained in skill. Hmm. Well, he's using... Should use... Uh, where is it? Dagger. Or, I don't see it. Uh, for some reason. Which... Warhammer? No. Halbert? Flail Morningstar. Yes. So he can be proficient in using that flail. I am listening. Flail of the ages. You must gather your party before venturing. Okay, forth. we're out of this section at least. I don't think we're out of the asylum though. Ugh. It will be done. Get this face on the floor. Time to move this way then. Let's try this door up here. Yep, gotcha. Certainly. What do you want? Good to go? Oh! One key. Yes. Lots of them. For the glory of Helm! There's a mage in the back. That's not right! Without doubt. Such a good. With vengeance! Oh, 
We've got a bunch of confused people here. Quickly, okay, everybody who's not confused, come into this room. I guess the chaotic command spell wore off in Jahir and Agentis. Without hesitation. Cover your nose, boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. This okay, we've got four long. pictures here. Let's see. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Okay, we've That helps. Protection from fear. If it must be done. Ready and willing. Right as rain. It's locked. Can you unlock it? The door is tightly sealed with no visible locks. The picture on the door is recessed slightly into the stone. Something may overlay that picture and open the door. Looks like a troll. This looks like an orc. Okay, we it cannot get done. through these doors. Something magical. We need some kind of magical thing to open it. Magical key. Gotcha. Oh. Certainly. Something good to go. Two doors here. Stand back for justice. It's locked. Right, you are. Oh, the mechanism that operates is out of conventional lock and may be warded against simple spells. What about this one? I wish she was able to open this one. Huh. Uh, I don't really trust this. If we touch it, it might lock us in again. Let's just try this. Don't know what it does. You may rotate this horseshoe shaped wheel. Turn the wheel with all my strength. From the west, I hear a loud creaking as if a door were being opened. Okay, then. Oh, trolls. Get the right arrows ready. It will be done. For the glory of hell! I don't like the looks of this! <laughs> One's dead. Dead, dead, dead. See battle bow. Go in. Run, bow, run. Oh, there's a. Right no here. use. You asked for it. Almost invisible, like dead. Seems that Jahira has gained in skill. Sword and shield style. Help her with her defense, especially. Is there anything in here? All right, all right. Gold. What's this? Mithril token. Arrows and a breach spell. This is a small mithril disc with jagged edges. There is nothing on the disc that hints at its use. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay. Probably get rid of these two things now that we've gone through the door. I don't think we're going to need them. Speak. No problem at all. Certainly. You can count on me. Oh, looks like a minotaur. Yes. This way, For the then? glory of Helm! Next time. Lots of them. How about a whole monster spell? Mm, it didn't affect them. Next time. You will fall by my hand. Without doubt. Gotcha. There's a statue here that's been destroyed. A spell that she does not have. More of these tokens. I guess we'll just hang on to those for now. Okay, Quickly so and precisely. we can go through either of these doors. Let's try this one over here. Good to go. Hmm. Can we go kill something now? Huh? Tokens, a minotaur horn. Oh. Mind Flare Painting. Maybe that'll open up the door in that other room. What is this horn for? This is a stone horn of a minotaur statue. Interesting. What's in here? This statue holds an oil painting in one hand as if offering it to me. The other hand is raised in warning. I may take the painting if I wish. Hmm. Time to move? Let's try it. Oh. It won't say... She resisted the spell. She takes the painting, and the statue begins to move. Magical energy swirls around it as it casts a spell. Okay, so these are paintings. To open that up. Those, those Just doors like up. Old times. So I've taken well, the painting from this statue. There's no further journal. use for it. Uh, Ugh. Clear air. Yep. Get the last painting. And fire. I thought as much. Okay. Swords, not words. Yeah. Nature could find a home here that will properly cleanse and balance. Okay. So we have how many paintings now? Should we have four? I don't know how many doors were there were. There's four. So let's go back to that slot then. Without hesitation. So this is a mind flayer, this is a troll, this is an umber hulk, this is an orc. I think that's an orc. We okay. must always strive to be uh, role models. You to cannot them. be controlled Make by them. Duty to one's cause through. outweighs all. Okay, Minsk, open that door. Not kicking for goodness. Okay, everybody, kill this illithid. Oh, he says there's a really neat looking sword here. It's a two handed sword. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Okay, uh, do we ha not have the means to. A 
identify it. Identify the sword. Flame of the North. The title does not refer to the blade itself, but rather to the woman who originally wielded it in the icy hinterlands of Faerun. Her name was Carrera, and she was a veritable firestorm that swept across Arctic trolls and the northern Orcish tribes. She was a hated enemy of many a shaman whose magic often floundered against her fury. After a lifetime of raucous battle, it was old age that eventually claimed her. The sword was passed to her granddaughter, an adventurer, who presumably bought it in Am. Brought it to Am. It's not really, it's not, it's, we'll just have to sell it. It's not as good as what he's using. What Minsk is using his uh, sentient sword, who I really don't like, but we're kind of stuck with for the moment. Okay, Don't want my sword here. while you can, Eva. I won't be as gentle. Oh, it's an uh, invisible troll. Great fun! No use. Right, boo? Acid. Spirit troll. The bigger they are, the harder I hit. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Magical Katana. Malakar. This sleek katana radiates magical energy when carried. The Malakar, or dueling steel, was used by less than armable samurai during duels against other samurai. As if of its own volition, it will swoop down and deflect the slashing attacks of other weapons. It is perfect for the warrior concerned about defense as well as offense. Interesting, but no one uses that weapon. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't Umber be Hulk. as gentle. Minsk is immune to the attacks. Oh, I should be using up these arrows. In fact, I'm going to put these arrows back. Uh, arrow of piercing. Let's just use um, regular arrows right now. I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Why does it keep going back here? Oh, some wolf wares. What is it? Fall creature! For it. And the glory of helm! The weapon is of no use. The weapon's of no use. I'm the best at what I do, and what I do ain't pretty. <laughs> Hey, what's back there? Right you are. Great fun! <laughs> right. ah! Evil will always fail. Is there still one here? Is it still invisible? Good long time. What? All right, all right. Oh, there's another one here. No problem at all. Minsk and Boo and ready. You can count on me. Okay, let's open up this last door then. Speak if it must be done. Stand back for justice. Oh, a gem. Yes. <laughs> Odd. It will be done. Ugh, my legs Every are just aching. Has his I've day. never walked so much in my life. Can, can you rest now? Oh, this way, then. Oh, there's a s stone golem in there, or some kind of golem. Captain Blade, arrow bolts. It's not in the room. Arrow of Biting. She can memorize that spell. Okay. Let's go in Certainly. here then. Oh, okay. So as soon as we touch the treasure, these golems will activate. It's one of those kind of rooms. Well, I'm Direct me as you will. Be here. So what are we looking at? Clay, clay, and clay. 
Should be able to use this a lot better this time because the flail of the ages. Helm, evil must now he's proficient in without it. mercy. See battle bo, run bo, run. As you would have it. Okay. Uh, how about haste? Something. You need oh. something. Everyone had haste. Not now because she lost her spells. For a moment. Well, I'll touch this then. It will be done. Okay, M1. It's locked. Gotcha. Star Sapphire, more tokens, and what's this shortbow string? Looks magically enchanted. Okay. I'm so happy you brought yep. me with you. Of course it happens way. Yeah, these guys hit hard. And raring to go. I don't know if magical attacks will affect them. Oftentimes, golems are immune to that. Yep. Magical resistance. Well, the Genesis is taken down. We can't harm the other ones, though. I don't know what we would do without this flail. Now it's dead. It seems that Minsk has gained in skill. It's happening a lot lately. Okay, additional priest spells. time we rest though we get Bodhi Who says what and I'd like to avoid that for as long as possible what is it okay as for that string I'm curious to know what it does I keep on forgetting that Imowen now has the scroll case. Identify. This is one part of the Jessen bow, a powerful short bow created by Jessen Khan and used on its own creator when it was stolen by the Shadow Thieves. Legend relates that this bow fires bolts of lightning instead of arrows and it has been highly sought in the past by Shadow Thieves for use by their assassins and by cowed wizards for study. Interesting. Is that is that same part? I just have stakes in there. Agentus, I believe you have a bow shaft. Short. It's a short bow shaft. I don't know if we can identify this. Oops. We're running out of these scrolls, so. Jessen bow shaft. This is one part of the Jessen bow. Okay, so we have both parts of it. The only problem is, well, two problems. It's a short bow, and we can't use it without. Maybe we take it to that uh, dwarf in the docks, Kromtar, whatever his name is. Who has the? Uh... I can't seem to find the. Maybe I put it in there already. Yeah, bowstring. I was hoping that uh, this to be a nice long bow, but I guess not. If anything, only Emma will be able to use it. She's the only one that uses short bows. Certainly. Well, let's check what's through this door now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.